I had a request to tell something about capacitors. And in this first video I want to show uh, some types of capacitors and tell some general things about um, this ele electronic component. Capacitor consists of two plates opposite to each other here with a material in between and that material um, isolates uh, the electricity. It can be glass or air or plastic or another isolating material. There are non-polar and polarized capacitors. Polarized capacitors have a plus and a minus and they may not be reversed in an electronic circuit. You can see them here. These are electrolytic capacitors from different values. These two are old ones from uh, low voltage uh, computer power supplies from the 80s. This is a modern one from a computer power supply. It can handle uh, 400 volts at 180 microfarad and this is also an electrolytic capacitor from 15 microfarad. This is a very old one from a tube radio um, from World War II. It's from Kelvin in the USA. Um, the first capacitor that I want to show is the capacitor in which air is the dielectricum. This is a tuning capacitor. You can tune it and change the plates opposite to the fixed plates. And that means a change in capacitance. The fixed plates are often called stator and the turning plates rotor. This is also a trimmer with air as dielectricum. Aluminium trimmer, this also. And here you find again tuning capacitor from a very low value, approximately 30 picofarad or so. By turning the plate you can change the capacitance. For people interested in formulas, this is the way to calculate the capacitance from a capacitor. This is the formula. It's expressed in centimeters. In fact that's an antique uh, way of expressing the capacitance value. The modern way is picofarad or nanofarad. But uh, 0.9 cm is equivalent to 1 picofarad. Here you see the three factors that influence the capacitance. And they are in the formula. So it's possible to calculate a capacitor with this formula. A very important um, type of capacitor is the so-called foil capacitor. It consists of thin aluminium plates or other uh, electric conductive material isolated by plastic or another high quality um, plastic-like material. And often they are rolled up, like it's shown here, to uh, make the volume from the capacitor small, but the value big. This is for instance a non-polar foil capacitor from 2.2 microfarad. So it's quite a big one and the good thing of the, this type of capacitor from 2.2 microfarad is that it may be reversed in the circuit and is useful in um, audio uh, stages. This is a high voltage capacitor. It can handle 1500 volts and um, this is also a high voltage capacitor but from another type. This is an uh, old uh, tar capacitor made with aluminium foil and paper. It's a paper capacitor and uh, when this uh, capacitor was made finally the whole thing was dipped in tar and you can see it, it's black from an old tube radio. 
This is also a file capacitor, it's a very small trimmer, 30 picofarad, for instance. And the good one of the good properties from foil capacitors, capacitors is that some of them can repair themselves. Sometimes when a too high voltage is added to the uh, to the wires, a very small spark can um, um, break the isolation material. But some of them of these types, the modern ones, uh, repair themselves. So the isolation is regained. These are all ceramic capacitors. They consist uh, always from some uh, ceramic material, porcelain, china, uh, often made with a silvered layer on one side and then the china and on the other side also again a very thin silver, silver layer to which the wires are soldered. This is the purest form to show from a ceramic capacitor. This is one plate, it's silver, I turn it, this is the other plate. And the die electricum is uh, porcelain. They are often, you can often find them in a tube like form or in a disc. This is a very modern, modern capacitor, it's a blue one. You can find these in uh, computer power supplies and they are uh, multi-layer capacitors. They have very good properties. They can withstand a very high voltage. This is 2 kV, so 2000 volts. They are often used to, re to remove sparks from the power supply line. This is also a small disc ceramic capacitor. Another type of isolation material is mica. And these are two silvered mica capacitors. Uh, the mica is covered with a very uh, thin layer of silver on both sides. And then we also have the, the um, capacitor plates. They have a bad name, these uh, capacitors, because the capacitance can go down very substantially after approximately 10 years or 20 years and that's due to the internal oxidation inside these types of capacitors. You'll find them in old tube radios and uh, they give um, many problems. When I read the uh, radio amateur magazines I find uh, information about uh, these capacitors. Here you see again the electrolytic capacitors. I've shown them already. Um, a small aluminium oxide layer inside this capacitor um, gives it its properties. You can also say that uh, inside the, this aluminium uh, tube uh, a wet process with a sort of electrolyte is going on. And that's also the reason why they may not be reversed. Because in that case the uh, isolation that's built up on one piece of the aluminium inside is uh, broken down and they don't function any longer as a capacitor. So one plate in fact is um, disabled when you um, reverse the polarity from this, uh, these types of capacitors. Um, this is a tantalium a capacitor Tantalium oxide inside of this capacitor uh, is the dielectric medium. The property, uh, the good thing about this capacitor is that they are very small and they have a, a quite they can have a quite high value. For instance, 47 microfarad here. It can handle 16 volts and in fact it's very small. So that's a good property from these types of capacitors. And this finally is a non-polar electrolytic capacitor. You can find them in um, computer loudspeaker boxes. They are often used. By the way, you cannot compare this non-polar capacitor to a foil capacitor here. And you may never use uh, these non-polar capacitors on uh, high voltages. For instance, as a certain 
AC resistor. They will explode when you do that. And that's also the case with disc capac these capacitors. When you um, connect them to an AC voltage source, they can explode. 